What's up guys, Tyler here. We're gaming hard. And here recently, the four kings have been pissing me off. I have uh, taken about ten runs at the four kings here in my uh, New Game Plus playthrough. And uh, I keep almost beating them and just... You know, getting killed right at the end, and uh, I think the, um, my frustration is is more with the trip back every single time, and that annoying room filled with dark wraiths and ghosts along the way there. And uh, so this time I decided, fuck it. I'm gonna summon some help. I haven't summoned help w once on my New Game Plus playthrough at all. So I, I'm gonna do it. And so I summoned me up some help. So I summoned up a couple of phantoms who had their uh, summon signs down at the uh, front of the New Londo ruins there. And we are going to go and smash the four kings' asses so I can join this Dark Wraith Covenant. And uh, that's really what I've been looking forward to on this playthrough was uh, joining up with the Dark Wraith Covenant. And um, because it was the last covenant I needed for, for trophies, but uh, sake, but... Um, if you don't know how to join the Dark Wraith Covenant, it is uh, kind of a tricky thing because uh, you don't want to talk to Front, and you don't want to place the Lord Vessel for him. And I know that it seems kind of like the game wants you to talk to Front. I mean, they pop his head right up there in Firelink Shrine, you know, pretty much... Um, the only kind of main hub, as it were. So, um, it's just kind of natural instinct to, to go up and, and t this crazy looking creature has popped his head up where there once was this pool there in Firelink Shrine, and uh, it's like, uh, of course I'm gonna go and see, see what the deal is. Um, you know, I almost wanted to attack it, but, um, you actually don't want to talk to Front if you want to join up with the Dark Wraith Covenant. Um, I believe that you can get either ending of the game, uh, regardless of what serpent you choose to uh, kind of team up with. But if you don't talk to Front and you don't place the Lord Vessel with him after beating the Four Kings, get the Lord Vessel. Go to the New Londo Ruins, go down, take on the Four Kings. After beating them, a serpent will appear in the abyss named Koth, who will uh, kind of spit a, a different game at you, kind of an anti-Link the Fire um, thing. He tells you about the Dark Soul and, uh, you know, wanting to uh, kind of seems like uh, usher in a new Dark Lord type thing and... Uh, you know, it, it all sounds cool to me, uh, and this is the route that uh, I wanted to go through, the, through this playthrough, so I was really ready to get the Four Kings out of the way, so I summoned up these guys to help me, and now what proceeds here in this boss battle is the buggiest, most filled with lag um, boss battle uh, you're ever going to see. I mean, um, just weird stuff happens here. Um, as you can see, it's 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 going okay right now. The um, they're attacking less at the three of us. Uh, it seems like they were attacking three times more when it was just me. Um, so yeah, they're going down way easier in co-op. Um, 
Now, what I've been told is that the four kings are weak to fire damage. However, I've come in here with a Chaos Uchi Katana. I've come in here with my plus 10 fire Claymore. Um, and nothing really seems to do much more damage than my Great Scythe does. Um, so, you know, I just figure I'll just use my Scythe, I'll throw some Pyromancies at him. Now, here you can really see the lag going. The, this guy's just not attacking at all. Then he dies, and then both of the Phantoms return home, right? But you can still see that there's just this uh, smidgen of life left. But there's no uh, king uh, spawned anywhere around me. And uh, I come running around, I read a message, uh, uh, I was actually kind of worried that this was about to just bug out on me completely, and then finally a king spawned, I whack him once, and that's the end of the boss battle. Um, I know that that wasn't incredibly informative as far as strategy goes, but um, at least hopefully I'll be able to convey some good information to you guys about um, how to join up with the Dark Wraith Covenant and um, at least you can take that information out of this video so here is Koth um, just as, as I had uh, anticipated um, and we are gonna go up to him and see what the serpent has to say. Undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, Dark Stalker Kaf. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls. But your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul, the Dark Soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Soul and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only dark remained. Thus began the Age of Men, the Age of Dark. Oh. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his age of fire and in dire fear of humans, and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Word, Gwyn word. has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. Oh. I am the primordial serpent. I seek your... to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true Lord. But the other serpent, Framped, lost his sense yeah, and he's defended a Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, with it. who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. Hell yeah! Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still, and trust thine flesh to me. Alright man, rock and roll. And, uh, the only way to travel by, um, you know, mouth of serpent. And here we are regurgitated at our destination. This is Gwyn's Firelink Altar. Place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. Alright, well, let's just slap this bitch up here.
Whoa. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going <coughs> to run back and <coughs> holler at Koth here and Very get well. him um, Once the vessel is filled to send our ass back to the abyss. The gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Gravelord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Word, word, we'll Filled fuck them up, no this problem. this vessel with their souls. Then the gate will open so that you may kill Gwyn. Are you ready? Then yes. let us return to the abyss and trust thine flesh to me. Okay, we're headed back to the abyss now. Now, in order to join the covenant, you gotta come back here to the abyss and then talk to Koth again. A lot of talking going on, which is cool. You know, um, the story isn't very prevalent in the game, so I, I really eat it up um, whenever they're really forthcoming with information. I grant the art of life drain. Hell yeah. The legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. Enter Covenant. Hell yes. Boom. And there you see we got the trophy. We are in the Dark Wraith Covenant. If you liked this video, enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, we're going to purchase some cracked red eye orbs so we can be go be the evil dark wraiths that we now are. And um, we are going to be seeing you guys soon with some more Dark Souls videos. Have a good one. And keep on gaming hard. Hell yeah, we're Dark Wraith! Peace. <laughs>